they're gonna show up. Look at all those lights. That's Are those the fireflies? No. You've seen a lot of this world, haven't you? From a distance, yes. What's wrong with that? At least you've seen the world. Yeah, he's just in the mines yeah, I live all in the day. Mines, underground. We could see it together, explore everything the world has to offer. Oh, look! <laughs> They move fast. Maybe it is true Let's do love. it. We'll see the world. Sounds like a dream come true. Just forgive one month's rent for the nuns. The nuns? You can have the boat. They'll pay you back eventually. I mean, it's a good deal. You get everything. So that's what this is about. Come on, you're a rich guy. The nuns payments. of all people. Mr. Gold oh, won't let the on. nuns Quite slide. Honestly, it's going to be a great relief to be rid of such distasteful tenants. You don't like nuns? Who doesn't like nuns? Oh, I have my reasons. I made you a pie. It's the least I could do after all your help. Wow. Oh, no. She says. What? What's this? Aww. I was afraid of letting you down. So you lied. Oh, no. Come on, Astrid. You're a nun. You gotta forgive. You're a forgiving person. Nuns are forgiving, aren't they? <laughs> Catherine's phone records. This is the, my my Every OCD is freaking out right now because I can't. Including an eight-minute call between her and David. He said he didn't speak to her that day. Then he's lying. No. No. I know when someone is lying. And Regina's it's right lying. here on paper, Emma. Ooh, Mary Margaret's drinking those having. scotch. Jeez. Well. Did you get it? I did not expect that from a girl. What do you think? I was dreaming if I thought that the town harlot and the town drunk could accomplish anything. Yeah. Just dreaming. <clears throat> Stealthy. Stealthy. Without even saying goodbye? Well, well, where are you going? To be with Nova. Suddenly, anything seems possible. He is dreamy. He's a dreamer. But take this with you. I don't need it anymore. Oh, <laughs> they're happy for him. That's nice. But what's gonna happen? You can't go to her. Why not? Why not? You have a responsibility to mine the diamonds we make into fairy dust. But I love her. We're not capable of love. It's not how we're made. Then what does he feel? What if I'm different? Ah. Uh, what you feel? It's just a dream. And if the two of you run away together, it will not end well. Nova will lose her wings. Allow Nova to become the fairy that she was meant to be. The two of you will bring untold joy to the world. But what if she doesn't want to be the a fairy? Yours. She wants to be a grumpy. Dreamy. She was the first person that said I could do anything. Mm. Who believed in me. I didn't want to disappoint her. Your consequences to following through when the world tells you not to. Didn't you have moments with him that you love? Do you regret them? No, of course not. Isn't that what life's about? Good memories. Hold on to your good memories. All I wanted was a moment with Astrid. One moment to give me hope that any dream's possible. So stop feeling sorry for yourself and enjoy it. Because I haven't. What is he gonna do? Oh, I was like... Perfect. Where? What is he doing? He's gonna cut the <laughs> lights? I'm not gonna jump. That's what I thought at first, but then I, I was like, oh, never no, mind. No, are you crazy? I could hit someone. You know how much damage I could do? I'm solidly built. You might want to duck. Like, what are you gonna electrocute it to? What are you doing? I'm selling candles, sister. Cause now it's dark. That's that's gonna be expensive to fix now that he eats it. Jamie, come on. Take a look. How'd she get them a ship? Supplies, maps of all the kingdoms, a sturdy sail. Nova. You belong with the other fairies. Why That's doesn't anybody changed. say, this person said this to me and this is why I'm saying this to you? I don't think it's love. 
It's no, a dream. No, someone planted in your head that you don't I'm think it's dream. love. You talk to the blue fairy. There you go. See, she what figured she it say? out. She's smart. What did she say? Nova! I can't stand in the way of your happiness. You're my happiness. She dropped the L-bomb in 48 hours. It's got to be true love. I can't love. Where's my axe? Oh, no. Dreamy. Now he's going to change the Back. grumpy. Back. Oh, Hi-ho, boys. Good to have you back, Dreamy. No place yeah, I'd yeah, rather whatever. be. Whatever. Shut up. Hi-ho. Still says dream. Oh, it's about to change to grumpy. Get out all your aggression. Whoa! Bossy, hand me another axe. Here you are, Dreamy. Bossy. This is sad. This is your fault. We're selling a lot of candles, that's for sure. Leroy, we sold out. <laughs> now let's hope the fire department's on call in case somebody starts dropping those. Go on. Go, Leroy. Go tell her. Five thousand bucks. Piece of cake. You sold them all? I had a little help. It looks so pretty with all the candles. I like how in Storybrooke, it's like, well, you want to go on a boat ride? And then Chanta Ford's, it's like, let's run away together. We love each other after five minutes. It's been 24 hours since my friend Catherine went missing. Ooh, Have you found anything? My friend Catherine, shut up. I found something, I just don't know what it means. It's best I don't divulge that information. Hmm. If you're not doing your job, Sheriff Swan, I'll find someone who will. Regina again. Aw, see Granny's nice now. Yes, I like non-judgmental Granny better. We need to talk. Did you get a hold of Catherine? I need you to come to the sheriff's station with me and tell me everything. I'm sorry, I thought I already did. Oh my gosh. Uh... Because Emma knows in her gut that it's not right. It's the end. So we get a little bit of, well, not a little bit, all of Grumpy's backstory. He was originally named Dreamy and he became Grumpy. That was so sad. That broke my heart. I love how I said, I said this in my reaction. I love how in the Enchanted Forest, they fall in love like that. And then in Storybrooke, they're like, oh, we'll go on a boat ride. It's fine. I, it's just, I wonder if there's more to that. If they're going to tell us a little bit more about what happened and where that fairy went and or Nova, where Nova went, and if they're going to end up eventually being together, because he told a whole story about how he saved up money to get an engagement ring, and then he was framed for it being a stolen diamond. And in what we just saw in Storybrooke, they kind of, they, they, did, they ended on good terms. You know, they're friends, they're going to see where things go, kind of. In the Enchanted Forest, Nova's freaking out, she's like crying all upset I love you I want to be with you and he's saying no 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 we can't and then he goes back to the mine so it looked like it ended in the enchanted forest but it didn't necessarily end in storybrook so I'm assuming they're going to pick up again like Nova's probably going to go to the blue fairy and be like what'd you say to him you ruined my life and then I think they're going to once again maybe try to run away and then that's when he's going to get framed and thrown in the dungeon but I think that was so cute I love that they gave grumpy uh I'm trying to get like the glare out of my glasses. <laughs> I think it was so cute. I love that we got to meet the other dwarfs, like officially meet them by name, each one see each one. That's so sad though. Like, why can't dwarfs be in love? Now, 
in the very, very beginning, I swear, like, it showed the, the fairy dust sprinkled down on the egg, and I think that's why he was seeing Nova in his dream. So, does it matter that it was her fairy dust? Did it matter that it came from her? I wonder how that whole thing works. I'm sure we're going to learn more about the fairies, uh, but I wonder how that whole thing works. Now... Regina fakes the phone call logs, makes it look like, so you know, I want to say makes it look like he was the last person to call her, but he was the last person to talk to her. But they were on good terms. Everything was okay. And I'm assuming he told that to Emma, unless he's trying to cover for her. But why would he try to cover for her? Like, what's the point? She's going to Boston and try to become a lawyer. It's her dream. It's what she wants to do. Unless Emma thinks that he is making that story up. I need to see the next episode. I got to see what's going on here and what they talk about at the station. Because he doesn't strike me as somebody who would lie but now everybody thinks his his image is tainted because he was lying and cheating on his wife. Oh, this whole thing is just like so crazy and freaking Regina getting her messy little hands and everything, throwing threats out there and shit. I love that Sydney's back reporting. He's like, I'm going to do independent journalism. You go, Sydney. But he is starting to cause some problems too because he is clouding Emma's judgment and getting into her head. But she's smarter than that. She knows she has a gut like unlike any other. And she can feel and know when something is off and something is wrong. And I think she is going to pick up on this definitely in the next episode by talking to him. I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I, I'm just like, I can't wait to see what happens next because this is, this was a really good episode. And I really liked how we got the whole grumpy story and the dwarfs and, and everything that happened with his love. But it was like a good lead up to like a bombshell that I feel like is going to be dropped in the next episode. So I cannot wait to jump right into this. Everyone throw a like up or a dislike if you do or do not like what you see. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when other videos. And don't forget to check down in the description for the link to my Patreon. I am at least three episodes ahead of whatever you are seeing now on YouTube. And that's it. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.